come to this session, over the last few sessions, we had uh, discussed about uh, the UML use case modeling and after that we had uh, taken up the class diagrams. We had looked at the basic syntax for class diagrams and uh, then we were looking at the class relations and how to represent them and also implement them in Java. We first started with the uh, inheritance relation and we found that uh, it is very easy to implement using the extends keyword of the Java. And then we were looking at the association relation, the basic syntax for the association relation and today we will continue with this syntax and also we will look at uh, how to have the Java implementation for the association. Let us continue from this point. If we have a class A and we have a class B which are associated, we write the name of the association on a straight line. The straight line here joining these two represents the association relation between these two classes. We write the name of the association and then we can optionally write the role of uh, each class in the association relation. And then we were uh, taking an example of a person working for a company and uh, here we represent uh, the two classes person and uh, company. We write the name of the association relation, this is the association name works for, we give the reading direction and we write the name of the role in the association, in the works for association. The role of the person is a employee and the role of the company as the employer, that is the basic syntax we are discussing. Now, let us uh, look at uh, this example. We have a library member and we have a book, these are two classes, these are associated that is uh, shown by the straight line between the two classes and we write the name of the association that is borrowed by and we can read here and we have here the multiplicities or the cardinalities which basically says how many of one object of book class is associated with how many objects of the library member class. We read by saying a book is borrowed by a library member that is one, a book is borrowed by a library member, a library member borrows up to 5 books, actually this should be 0 here, a library member borrows 0 to 5 books. So, one object of the library member class can be associated with 5 book objects. Similarly, we have another example here. We read this by saying a lion eats many humans. We can read it in other ways because the association here is bidirectional. A simple straight line here means bidirectional association. We can read here a human is eaten by many lions. So, one element of the human, one object of the human is associated with many lion objects. Similarly, a lion object is associated with uh, many human objects represented by the star. Just to summarize this, we say that the number of objects from one class 
that related to the other objects of the other class is represented as the multiplicity. A single object of one class is related to how many objects of the other class is represented as the multiplicity. Now, let us uh, try to read this here it is a unidirectional association represented by the arrow relation a straight line without arrows is a bidirectional association here the direction of the association is unidirectional and we read here by saying a key opens up to 5 doors a single key opens up to 5 doors and a door is opened by many keys. We will see the unidirectional association how it is implemented in Java and how is it different from bidirectional association a little later. Now, let us uh, have a small quiz. Uh, let us try to identify the classes and represent and identify the association relation and represent that in a UML class syntax. In any design activity identifying classes from a problem description and the relations among classes is a very vital skill. Now, let us do this small exercise. A teacher teaches 1 to 3 courses or subjects whatever we may tell either we can say courses or subjects a teacher teaches anywhere between 1 to 3 courses and each course is taught by only a single teacher a student can take between 1 to 5 courses and a course can have anywhere between 10 to 300 students. Now, we need to draw the class diagram. We need to identify the classes and then we need to identify the association relation and uh, then represent in the UML syntax. We need to identify the multiplicities those are given here and uh, represent that in the UML syntax. Now, what are the classes here? That is the first question. The classes are of course, the teacher, the course and the subject, uh, sorry the teacher, the course and the student, course and student sorry course and subject are synonyms. So, we have three classes here, the teacher, course and student these appear as nouns in a description. Later as we proceed with the course, we will pick up more higher skills in identifying the classes from a problem description. Now, after identifying the classes, we need to identify the association relation and represent them. And here teacher is associated with courses because he teaches that is the name of the association relation is teaches. And the cardinality is given here 1 to 3 courses a single teacher is associated with 1 to 3 courses. So, this is the cardinality on the course side and a course is taught by only one teacher. So, this is the cardinality on the teacher side and a student is associated with a course because credits the course takes the course and the cardinality is given here this is on the course end 1 to 5 courses a single student can take 1 to 5 courses and a course can have 10 to 300 students. So, this is the cardinality on the student side. Now, let us represent that in the UML diagram you can try representing yourself and compare uh, 
uh, your answer with the one that we provide here. So, teacher teaches this is the reading direction teacher teaches 1, 2, 3 courses. A course is taught by a single teacher and A student takes 1 to 5 courses and A course is taken by 10 to 300 students. I hope that given a problem description you can identify the classes, the association relations between the classes and also identify the cardinalities and represent them correctly in a UML diagram. Now, let us draw another class diagram based on a problem description this is quiz 2. Let us say we just change the earlier problem little bit we say that a student can take up to 5 courses that means uh, 0 to 5 courses. A student needs to enroll in at least one course okay, that means that a student can take 1 to 5 courses because needs to enroll in at least one course. Up to 300 students can enroll in a course and an offered subject should have at least 10 registered students. So, that means that a course should have between 10 to 300 students. Now, the classes that are here as you can see the student and the course and we need to represent this properly in a UML class diagram with proper cardinalities. Please try this exercise, I will display the solution and you can compare with your solution. So, here we have uh, also written the role of each uh, class, a student, a student enrolls in 1 to 5 courses, a course has enrollment of 10 to 300 students. So, here the student of uh, the role of the student is the student credits the course and course has the role of enrollment has enrollment of. Now, let us uh, do another small exercise. Let us try to see the UML diagram for the same problem drawn by different uh, learners and see if what they have drawn is correct or not. Now, here just observe this diagram student enrolls in course student and course are the two classes and we have the association name cardinality and the roles are there any mistakes that you can plot uh, you can identify or is it ok. It is a mistake because we do not have the reading direction in UML syntax along with the name of the association relation we should have given the reading direction. Now, what about this is this diagram for the same problem drawn by a learner is it ok. Here there is a reading direction still there is a problem the problem is that the association relationship is not represented by a dotted line it is represented by a, a full line normal line. So, this is again problem. Now, what about this? The bidirectional association can also be drawn by arrows on both ends, but is this ok? We have the association na name have the 
reading direction, cardinality, properly specified rules, but still there is a problem, the arrow is not proper. This is a filled arrowhead and UML syntax wants a open arrowhead. Now, what about this one? We have the open arrowhead here, we have the association name, we have the cardinality, we have the normal line here, we have the role of each class in the association. So, this uh, looks all right. So, this is a correct uh, notation in UML. Now, let us uh, have one more quiz. We have want to read this diagram where an association relationship is mentioned. How do we read this? We can read it if we know that uh, the cardinality here is for a single object of the teacher class. So, we can read here a teacher teaches up to three courses and a course is taught by one or two teachers. Let me repeat that the cardinality mentioned at this end is the number of objects of this class that can be associated with a single object of this class. So, we need to read here as a teacher teaches up to three courses and if we read in the other direction, we read here a single object of the course that is a course is taught by one or two teachers. Now, let us read this one. A key opens up to 5 doors and A door is opened by many keys. So far, we have been looking at uh, association between classes, but what about the objects? We said that if the association cardinality is given, we know one object of a class is associated with how many elements of the other class that we call as link. Here, if this is the association relation, then the cardinality here is 1 and therefore, one object of the people class is associated with one element of the tax file class, but the links they get formed and dissolved as the program runs. These are dynamic in nature. For example, a person may get out of the tax bracket and his tax file may the link may get dissolved and there may be people who are not in the tax bracket and uh, for whom there is no tax file. So, here even though it is written 1 1, but then it may so happen that at some instant some of the objects do not have an associated object here, but an object typically has uh, one associated object. We call this as a link between objects when there is a association relationship between two classes, links between the corresponding objects get formed. A link is actually an instance of an association, it exists between two or more objects and these links as the system runs, links may get formed for example, one person who did not have a tax file becomes eligible to pay taxes 
and then a tax file for him is created. Another example may be that we have a person with a company, person and company and employees is the association relation. Now, an employee works for a company, a company employs many people, but then it may so happen that a person has a link, a person A that is an object of person has a link with a company, let us say Infosys or something. Now, there is a link between A and Infosys, but let us say A resigns from Infosys and joins another company, let us say TCS. So, the link between A and Infosys gets dissolved as the system runs and he joins TCS. So, the link between a and TCS gets established. We will see that how in the program how does it happen a little later. Now, we had so far been looking at binary association that is between two classes, but is it possible that a class single class is associated with itself? Is it possible that a single class is associated with itself? and uh, this we call as a unary association. Can you think of a unary association? Give an example of a unary association that is a class is associated with itself. The association relationship exists on one class. Again, here we use an arrowhead to indicate the direction of association and we also write the multiplicity, but uh, please think of an example where we have a unary association that is an association existing on a single class. We give the first example here, a person, a person is a friend of another person. A person is friend of many persons, this is the star is many, a single person is a friend of many persons. We can read in the other direction, a person has many persons as his friend. But then please observe here that uh, the object that we have here, we are talking of the object, the friend has other objects in this, uh, the link gets formed with the other objects of the person class. So, a person A might have friends B, C, D three friends, person A has friends B, C, D and so on. Now, let us look at another example. A computer, A computer connects to many other computers or A computer is connected to many other computers. So, that is indicated by the star here which is many, but then how does it uh, look like in the object space? We might have a computer A and that may be con connected to either B C and the computer M might be connected to L M N O L O P Q etcetera and so on. If we can represent this in the form of a object diagram may look like this that computer 1 or node 1 is connected to computer 4. So, there is a single connection here, but node 4 that is computer 4 is connected to 4 here 1, 2, 3, 5 and 5 is connected to only 1 node 7, 
but node 7 is connected to 2 and 8. There is another example here, a linked list connects to the next node. So, next is the reading direction here. A node in a linked list is connected to the next node. We can read it in the other direction. A node in the linked list is connected to the next node or we can read it as saying A node, a linked list node is connected to the previous node. So far, we have looked at uh, several examples of uh, unary association. Here, the association is defined on a single class that is only the objects of this class participate in the association relation. The links exist between different nodes of the same class, different objects of the same class. We are almost at the end of this uh, session, we will stop here and continue in the next session. Thank you.